Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, fuel line swapped out. There's nothing wrong with the fuel line, of course, but um, I just like to go with our our orange color. Uh, what we need to do is get inside the tank and uh, reach in there and grab the clunk. Uh, if you can, if you can see in there, down in the the bottom corner, uh, there's a brass fitting uh, referred to as the clunk. It's heavy and it's also a filter. So it will um, serve a couple purposes. Of course, it's going to keep dirt and debris, uh, any little uh, particles that get inside your fuel tank, it's going to keep those from getting into the fuel line, going into the carburetor, into the engine. Also, because it's brass, it's heavy. So because it's heavy, Gravity will always keep the clunk in the lowest part of the tank. So as the car um, tips over in a wreck, the clunk drops down to what is now the top of the tank. Um, but that's the bottom when the car is upside down, right? So the fuel's going to go to the bottom, so the clunk goes to the bottom. And uh, the good thing about that is while the car is waiting to be marshaled, um, the engine will continue to draw fuel because the, the fuel filter, the pickup area of the fuel line is in the same area where the fuel is. Of course, if you're out of fuel, then you're out of luck. I'm going to use my surgical clamps because, as you all know, I flunked out of med school and ended up working with RC cars. Just kidding. Um, but these work out really, really well, or uh, some kind of needle nose, whatever you have. But these are awesome. Uh, if you can see these, and they do clamp. So once you get a good hold on something, you can clamp them and they'll stay in place. Um, you can get these at Harbor Freight. You don't have to go to med school to get them. Thank goodness. This hobby's expensive enough without having to pay for med school tuition. There's what the clunk looks like. It's a porous brass filter. Okay, now we're gonna pull the fuel line out and put the orange fuel line in. All right, this is silicone rubber. It is um, somewhat sticky. So if you want to use um, a a cleaner of some sort uh, if you want to use your uh, uh, your cow rc parts and chassis wash or uh, some dish soap or wd-40 or spit or whatever it will just help it go through the tank through the hole just a little bit easier when it's got a little bit of lubrication on it okay now we're gonna pull the fuel line end out of the tank so we can hook the clunk back on. And the clunk, it just presses in. Let's uh, just try to make sure it's on there as good as I can. There we go. Okay, so. There's our clunk sitting down in the bottom in the back of the tank. Just past my thumb there. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off a little bit of a length here, more than what I need. And once I get this mounted on the car, okay, so I've got extra. This is for the the line to the carburetor. I've got extra. So when I get this mounted on the car, I'll cut that to length. And then I'm going to cut two lengths. For the pressure line. And then I'm going to cut 
couple little little uh, o-rings kind of little um these act like a uh, hose clamp sort of here's our pipe okay so the engine's sitting right here <clears throat> we got the fuel tank sitting right in front of the engine Okay, so this line here goes back to the carburetor. And we're gonna have a line coming from the nipple on the pipe. Okay, and the reason I did this little short line is because with heat, the fuel line where it is connected to the pipe as you should have experienced, um, you know that that gets kind of tight when it gets when it gets um, you know hot and sort of kind of melts on there so um, I'm gonna use two pieces of fuel line so that I can uh, separate the fuel line from the pipe the pressure line from the pipe when it's time to take the engine off of the car one second here as I look for something in my toolbox Put it somewhere where I would never lose it. And what happened? Okay, so this is a uh, it's a uh, you know a way to splice two pieces of fuel line together. It has a male end on both sides. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use between the short piece and the uh, the little bit longer piece that's going to go on the pressure line to the to the tank and then this is a uh, a way to hold two fuel lines together near each other um, and you can use these also if you need a little bit um, I don't know if you just feel like you want to connect the fuel line to the tank in a different location you can clean these up uh, scuff the back of them scuff the tank area use some uh, CA glue tire glue and you can glue these to the side of your tank can't guarantee that they'll stay there forever but it's a way to do it the sore tank has a built-in holder for your fuel lines right there on the side on the pipe side right where you need it when you're going to um, change the clutch bearings or uh, clean the car Whatever you're going to do that requires pulling the engine off of the car, you're going to need to disconnect the fuel line from the pipe. So disconnect the joint that you made here, the coupler. And when you have the engine off of the car, just uh, hook the pressure line to the main uh, fuel line and it seals the system for you. So, okay, and then the other piece that I was showing you holds two pieces of fuel line together put that at the front of the tank so sorry I've got the car all apart right now uh, everything's in pieces so um, I can't show you you know on a on a car or a truck or something but um, you know you'll adjust the lines um, as necessary to get the right length that you want but for the most part this is how your fuel system is able to be connected to the fuel tank, to the pipe, uh, to the carburetor. And um, I'll just show you real quick what I use these little, little rings for. Is they just give a little bit extra holding power. Um, so I use uh, another pair of skinny needle nose. And if I just slide my needle nose into the ring yep I just licked it okay so as I open the needle nose it's going to spread open the ring and then I can press the fuel line into the opening and now I have 
a little bit of extra pressure. Kind of get it lined up toward the end of the line. Okay, so now I use that ring for just a little bit of extra holding pressure when it's connected to the top of the tank. Okay, that ring is right, right in the recessed area of the line on the top of the tank, on the nipple there. Okay, and then I do the same thing on the, the fuel line on the engine. So I know at some point I'm going to cut this off to fit to the carburetor and my little, uh, my little clamping ring is on the right side of the cut that I'll make. And if it's not, I'll just move it, put it wherever I want. So if you choose to, you can put uh, these little clamping rings on all of the connections, wherever you, you know, if you want to put them on the, on the splice there, you can. Um, put them wherever you want. That is a clean and easy way to run your fuel line and to maintain your engine, to be able to get the fuel line off easy, not have it tear at the, at the pipe nipple. If you're, if your pipe turns around and goes backwards, just run your, your rear line instead of this sh little short one, cause the nipples running forward. Just make this longer and have it uh, loop around maybe your your carburetor needle and then come back to the tank uh, whatever you have to do but uh, pretty good little setup i just try to keep things nice and tight clean um, less things to get uh, you know damaged less holes to try to find if your engine's not tuning properly uh, less things to get pulled out of the body get caught up in a steering linkage, get stuck in your spur gear, um, on and on it goes, right? There's all sorts of things that can happen, so the, the simpler and easier we can make this, the better. So if you have any questions, um, I will look to see if I can find part numbers for these plastic pieces and, um, and link them down below. But uh, check down there in the comments. Um, if you have any questions or any other ideas for future videos, let me know. All right, we will see you soon. Until then, soar on.